Mwenye so mnyo obalaba kwa ya Ministries International. We are so honored to serve you today at your Ministries International. We turn on the glory to Jesus. Thank you for coming. We are still proceeding. Engine no najibuli da ko luli. I have ever preached this message. But I did not go on air. I felt that people have struggles out there. Praise the name of the Lord. The predicament I'm addressing right now. People fear to take it into counseling sessions. Hallelujah. There's something I want to talk about. Even the anointed people of God, whether preachers, whether pastors, whether prophets, whether apostles, whether preachers, even in the government, they are struggling. In the church, people are struggling. dealing with Amen. Marental destiny dealing with the spiritual husband and e spiritual wife. Amen. I'm talking about the spirit husband ne spiritual wife. and spirit wife. This is a problem you cannot take to counsel. How can you explain that somebody comes and uses me sexually in the night? There is a woman that Obani comes and sleeps with them. Them. Or there is a man that I have intercourse with in the night. Praise the name of the Lord. What I'm talking about today If it has possessed someone's wife When they are not yet married They will not get married Because they are married It has been it has, He is married or she is betrothed That is why we have many bachelors And many spinsters If it allows you to get married There will be battles in the marriage These are the women that don't want their husbands to touch them all the men don't want their wives to love them. There is a wrath that it puts upon the women. There is a cruelty that this man that is married to this spirit wife does not want to have sex with the man or woman of every day. Or a woman that is betrothed does not want to touch a woman of every day. And she is happy. If I can explain this to you. Married men These married men Come back home and they sit in the sitting room And then the men that love football At 8 in the night And from 8 is watching football Until 4 in the morning he doesn't want to go into his bedroom. Hallelujah. Others are married to WhatsApp. A man can be in his marital bed. And his ex stands the other side on WhatsApp. It has brought separation in marriages. It has brought poverty in marriages. It has brought luck. It has caused married women to cry. And they are asking, where did we go wrong? My husband loved me. What happened? Spirit husband will fight with your home. Spirit wife will deal with your finances. It will deal with your finances. It will deal with your anointing. If it comes and uses you, then there is a level of the anointing that you cannot enter. Because it pollutes your spiritual life. You become polluted spiritually. And there was a silence. Today I'm answering someone. Hallelujah. The men who leave their beautiful wives at home. He, she's at home. And then he runs to the toilet and masturbates. And he's satisfied. Yet he has a beautiful wife. And the woman leaves the husband. And she runs and has masturbation. People leave the home as husband and wife. Do you know there are men who are married? What woman? But struck bachelors in their own home. The women who are married because of struck singles in their own home. They are just wearing. Actually, some of them are wearing rings. For pretense. But the truth. There is no marriage there. Why? The spiritual husband. 
I know I'm answering someone. I want to give you a Bible reference. I'm going to pick a few things because I don't have time. If the grace will permit me, you'll, think, you'll find all the details in my next book. Amen. Genesis chapter 6 from verse 1. Today we talked about the mystery of spiritual children. Some people told me. Providence, I have never seen this man come and use me in the night. But in the morning, you wake up after a wet dream. That means it has not yet manifested, but you are married. In the morning, a, a woman wakes up, she is all wet from a wet she dream. She has never seen He has never seen anyone. You are officially married, but you are not yet manifested. Some people, it may not physically manifest. You may just sit in a place and you wake up when you are all wet. It even moves in the wind. When we were young, there were those two, the wind. A whirlwind. Oh, you may a place. And a whirlwind attacks you. And it has come. It will stop where you are. Then that is why it stops. In the end, you are wet. And the men have masturbated. This spirit has come and used you. This spirit has come. You cannot be with him. And you have love towards your wife. You cannot be with him. And you love your husband. I was calling you to love. One of my daughters told me. And told me prophetess. And told me prophetess. She told me prophetess. Do you know? Spirit husband can romance you for two hours. When a spirit husband gets you, you do not want any ordinary man to handle you. And he told me prophetess. In the night I just meditated about it and it came. From midnight up to four in the morning. I was contented with spirit husband. I hated all men. No man could get to the level of this spirit husband. But because you came, let me allow my deliverance, but I was enjoying I'm answering someone. Man has failed. There are the men you meet meeting in the morning. There is a lot of money in that meeting. It attacks him in the night. Yeah. It comes in the fiance. It comes in the image of his wife. Then he wakes up all of a sudden and he's wet. Cancel that appointment. And pray. If you go there, you are going to fail. If it was missing, you are going to preach the next day. And it attacks you. Don't go and preach. Because you are polluted. There is a demonic door that is open in your life. You will go and be attacked very difficultly. Somebody is delivered today. I do not know who is coming tonight Come out, but the Lord is delivering. Can you pick it for me from the book of Genesis chapter 6 from verse 1 to 8? Verse 1. When men began to increase in number on the earth, and daughters were born to them, the sons of God saw that the daughters of men were beautiful. And they married any of them they chose. Then the Lord said, my spirit will not contend with man forever. For it is mortal. Bible says when the sons of God began to admire the daughters of men these are the fallen angels. When we look into the book of Revelation chapter 12 from verse 1 to 7 the Bible says and there was a war in the heavens. And the angel who was in charge of the, the war. Angel who? Angel Michael was, was in charge of the war. And the Bible says, Behold, there was a war. And the angels began to fight with the dragon. And when they began to fight, they conquered the devil from heaven and they threw him down on the earth. 
Can I hear better me? Yeah, now, come... The person who is sleeping with you oh, yeah, yeah, nah, is an ancient you. spirit. They are the fallen angels. And some of you picked it from the family. Some of you used to worship shrines. Your fathers used to be wish doctors. Your mothers used to be wish doctors. Now in your family there was what we call demonic worship. Or some of you used to be womanizers. Or some of you used to be fornicators. Or some of you were prostitutes. Now these things are programmed. Remember your great ancestors worshipped. And some of us that when our great ancestors worshipped they dedicated the entire generation. Carried you. They carried your mother. They carried your father. They carried the fourth to fifth generation. And dedicated all of them to the gods. And said today we dedicate our offerings. That today until forever. They shall be serving you. They shall belong to you. They shall be your wife. They shall be your husband. Now today you have matured. You feel you want to settle. But every relationship you get in, it is falling. You cannot settle. Every man who comes along your way, you don't even know what is happening. Men are dumping you down. Women are leaving you down. Finances are getting down. Whatever you lay hands to do, you cannot move. Your husband has rejected you. Your children has rejected you. Some of you, you don't even know what went wrong. But today I want to thank God. With the lesson is for redemption. We shall have us initiated. I cannot tell you a better man. Allow me to speak to some people. You said today we are tired. Whatever it is tonight. Let me show of your anointing. I pluck you out of the country. You are the only one. 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 Yes, I want my million more. Son of the anointing, oh, I'm a footer. You're coming out. Oh, fire! In the name of Jesus. Oh, in your ear, yes, I want you to get. Come on, there is an anointing this morning. What do you want, my footer? Come on, come on, if you can clap your hands, clap for Jesus. I want you to get the COVID. Yes, we're gonna watch you to get them. Some of you, I'm talking to you. I'm moving number. I'm talking this morning. There are people who are saying, "My goodness, God came for me." Do you know what it means to be married but rejected by husband? Uh huh. Can I take it deeper? Oh, what have I done? Or maybe if I wear a sex night dress, you look at me. But I take a mask, and you come and the man says, "Oh God, where is this baboon coming from?" Look at you, go and remove it. Then it is not the, the dressing code. The man you are having, there is a woman Waliwamuja. in the realm of a spirit that you don't know her. But she knows you. She is the enemy of that man. Can I get a little bit more? 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 Rejection in the home. You can find that your husband cannot even give you the money, but he can give to other people. Do you know you can tell your people that my husband does not give me money? He does not even dress me up. And people say that man is generous. That man is generous. But you, he does not give you money. Your husband will envy you. Make sure you don't enjoy your husband. So, ladies and gentlemen, every woman who is sharing a husband, she has been sharing her husband. Every woman who is sharing her husband, she has been sharing her husband. Every woman who is sharing her husband, she has been sharing her husband. Every woman who is sharing her husband, she has been sharing her husband. Every woman who is sharing her husband, she has been sharing her husband. Every woman who is sharing her husband, she has been sharing her husband. Every woman who is sharing her husband, she has been sharing her husband. Every woman who is sharing her husband, she has been sharing her husband. Every woman who is sharing her husband, she has been sharing her husband. Every woman who is sharing her husband, she has been sharing her husband. Every woman who is sharing her husband, she has been sharing her husband. Every woman who is sharing her husband, she has been sharing her husband. Every woman who is sharing her husband, she has been sharing her husband. Every woman the power of God shall deliver you. Because you can. Your finances shall be delivered. Because you can. Your 
you shall get married because you came the bondages are breaking up because you came delivered in the name of Jesus no one can hear you tonight oh man I, 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 I. today the devil is in trouble the anointing is here I'm a foot, I got set down. and the bible says bible that the son of God they began to look at the sons the daughters of men who are the daughters of men and me and you and they began to admire us and they began to have sexual intercourse with the sons of men and the sons of men conceived and what the bible says and when they conceived at they conceived giants people who are not of this age that spirit that is sleeping with you it is not a new spirit it is coming from generation to generation some of you the spirits were brought by your fathers in the house some of you your great ancestors worshipped them some of you your umbilical cords are there some of you went to shrines you and tonight I have good news there is expiring date has come you shall be delivered in the name of Jesus Christ every giant in your house every giant in your marriage every giant in your finances I tear it out of your life in the name of Jesus spiritual wife surprisingly you can't make an appointment with a man of God. Uh, PA. Praise, PA. PA, praise God. I want to see the man of Njaga God. Kulaba, what is your challenge? Jeju, eh, request. Spiritual. You cannot. It is so ashamed. You are so proud. You are like people. You inside you are dying but you cannot speak. <laughs> You are bitter. You are filled with wrath. But you cannot speak that to your parents. It is a shame. With all your books. With all your beauty. You are married. It is strangling you in your marriage. People are seated with it in their marriages. In the church. That is why many young men are doing masturbation. Young men are into masturbation. By the time a young man commits masturbation, and they begin to be polluted, or a young woman masturbates, whenever you masturbate, if you are a man, there is a woman you envision. You are with another woman somewhere. This woman that comes in your vision your spiritual wife. is the spirit wife. When you stop, that is when you, you will finish up. That is when you will ejaculate. You will become weak. Your job will all die down. Your appointments will die down. That is when your prayer life will die. He is so wise. Women that masturbate. In the end. They are seeing Ronaldo in their vision. A footballer. Ah. When they are playing their football, that is when she will climb up. It means it has come in the image of Ronaldo and then it has polluted your life. Others come in the image of footballers. Those that love Nigerian movies, it has come in the image of Ramzanoa. If you want the films of the whites, it comes in your favorite soap actor. It can come in the image of your ex that separated from you and you still love them. It can come in the 
image of your husband and you think your husband has come it can come in the image of your wife or in the image of your father when it touches you it, it can even come in the image of those that are dead and it will sleep with you if you don't pray anything you touch will die that is why the churches are people don't know what to do thank God an enemy exposed is an enemy defeated. an enemy exposed you get hold of money you are going into a business venture in the morning Swaziniga visits in the dream spirit husband even though you close your legs he will come in the wind oh. and he pollutes any blessing your business all your capital will die you are saying what is wrong with me anyone that debts me my question is have you had a visitor in the night that you? if you have them deal with them deal with them until when they go back if you overcome marriage shall come to your life marriage shall come to your life joy will come to your life nations will be open to you as long as the spirit wife is still there you're wasting time tell your neighbor time wasting hallelujah Wanji. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Those that say I've never seen it. <laughs> but whenever you sleep. <laughs> you dream you're laying a marital bed. <laughs> you're not married. <laughs> but whenever you sleep. <laughs> you are laying a six by six. <laughs> you know that you are married. <laughs> but the enemy is not yet exposed. Point number one. Choka. Point number two. Choka. You are married. A woman, woman, you dream you're breastfeeding children. But you don't have them. Physical. You have children at home. But you dream you're breastfeeding. Spiritually, you are married. You even have it children. And the spiritual children will fight with your physical children. They are the men you meet that have children, but they do not take care of them. Because it is fighting for attention. Somebody is taking my position. Spiritual children. Women that have these dreams. That when they are breastfeeding. They always have breast cancer. They are always cancer victims. They have lumps in the breast. They are always victims of blood. Whenever the spirit children will suck the breast. They send poison. Into your breast physically. Hello. Praise the Lord. Number three. Most people say, I have never seen it. What is pastor talking about? Most women dream when they are pregnant. In the dream. Dreaming you are pregnant. Ever since you confessed Christ. Five years in salvation. You are dreaming you are pregnant. It means you are pregnant. And. I was talking to people and I said. When you look at the nations of Africa. Most that border. That border water areas. Uganda. Uganda Nigeria. Or Nigeria. Tanzania. Or Tanzania um, whatever. Ghana. Or the, the coastal nations. Most of the women on the coastal areas, 99%, they have been operated by for fibroids. What causes the fibroids? People say that the woman has delayed to give birth. Most people have vaccinated. Most Christian, the women Christian have told them. Doctors say, oh, conceive and the fibroids will go. The men are that have that. There are women who have children but they still have fibroids. Married women, but they have fibroids. Doctors are lying. That one is a lie. Don't do it. It is a spiritual issue. Many women in the African nations have operation from fibroids. 
15 operations from fibroids. And very big like children. Have you ever seen these fibroids in the European nations? It has caused women to get diseases that have no cure. There are women that have sicknesses, especially in their private parts and in their uterus. She will get a sickness and ever since the doctors has trained us they have never heard about it. They have never read about it. There is no cure. What the spirit husband does, they project sickness that have no cure. If you do not deal with it in deliverance, you will die. Somewhere today that there is a hand of God that delivers people. People are being delivered. The people that say, I've not dreamt of children. I've never even slept with him. But do you know? Spiritual husband. Spirit husband. And a spiritual wife. And a spirit wife. Can stand on the roadside of Kampala. And they come and dress up as a prostitute. And they possess a prostitute. These prostitutes on the streets that are exposing their, they are exposing their breasts. Those ones are called. It will come and possess that child. And the prostitute will come and you will sleep with her. The truth is. Your, your husband does not know how they commit. And this sweet husband comes through this hookah. They are the young women you pray for. And you fast. The more you fast and pray. She sits more in the family. She's like she has captured. When she captures you. When you pray and it fails. Deal with the sweet husband. Deal with the sweet wife. And begin to deal with it. people have wasted time marriages have been wasted when your husband has just gotten money you struggle in the beginning he calls you baby sweetheart but when he gets money he runs wild he begins to fornicate outside marriage he's tough those husbands are very bitter the man becomes bitter like he's talking if it is the wife she's very bitter don't disturb me what is wrong with you my husband somebody came here what is wrong with that they are having they don't have any shame you have an enemy if somebody is contending with you they don't need to dress you in rejection if an enemy is to rise they don't need to remove your money they don't need to do anything they just get one evil spirit spirit wife because they attack in 85 areas no one and you are possessed. You are, you are working, you are not promoting. You know, it's there to make sure that the life becomes so difficult. For you. Well, when you get an eye. Amen. Well, when you get I'm answering someone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can I have better amen? And these spiritual husbands at times appear in the images of your pastors. Your man of God. You can even dream of prophets. Don't you say I'm preaching here? You can preach. In the night coming when I'm dressing white. And I say I want to sleep with you in the dream. And you think that you're sleeping with prophets. It knows. If it masquerades in my image you will not refuse. You will not after fornicating in the dream, it then will manifest physically and you'll see the real enemy. It can dress up the image of your pastors. Hello? Hallelujah. Young women have problems. So and so is my husband. Anyone that is going to get married to you, if the Lord shows him to you, they don't bring him when they are sleeping with you. 
That is not God. If you ever dream a man having sex with you and you think the Lord has shown you, know that demons are married, you are married to demons. There are people who are being delivered today. I feel it. There is a deliverance today. Your deliverance is here today. And from today you will enjoy life. You shall get meaningful money. That your jobs will be blessed. I'm talking to someone today. Bless the Lord with a mighty hand clap. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, these spiritual wives and husbands fall in, fall in these categories. Number one, we have what we call family spiritual husbands and wives. Your mother or your father when he was initiated into society he gave you people as an initiation to them all the girls in that family are betrothed to the spirit husband and all of them they are not married if they try and break through all of them have given birth out of wedlock you can find one woman she has given birth to out of 15 men she never wants to settle down. It is a family stronghold. When you are dealing with it, destroy it from the family level. If it kills the whole family, all your aunties, your fathers will be delivered. Oh. Somebody you are being delivered tonight. Somebody's deliverance is here. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. International spiritual wives and husbands. A whole nation. The whole nation was initiated. And was dedicated to a spirit husband. Every house is suffering with it. But thank the blood of Jesus. I don't hear you, amen. No sorcerer can deliver you from it. They are slaves to this spirit. They fear it, they cannot be delivered. But there is one that is above all every other name. He is above every other altar. He sits above all spirit husbands. He sits above spirit wives. His name is Jesus. The died and rose again. He has the key for your deliverance. Somebody you are delivered now. Because you are in this place. Anything that possesses you lives. Anything that marries you lives. Every chain is breaking. Every marriage ring is going. You are being divorced from spiritual marriage. If it took you, you are now delivered. I saw the hand of God in your family. My, my, my Jesus. Yes. I send the hand of God. I send the hand of God. Into the marriage of When these women get married, when they research what the elder sister in London is going through, the sister in Uganda is what they are going through. What the one of Uganda is going through, is going through. even the one in Tanzania, the same thing. what attacks you is the same thing, it does not change. <laughs> We thank the blood of Jesus. I say we thank the blood of Jesus. You may not understand it. All of the blood of Jesus. All of the blood of Jesus. That died and rose again. I said it is finished on the cross. All of the blood of Jesus will set you free. 
no which doctor tell him logo no which craft tell him for you what mean no sorcerer can remove it from yes, you yes you are now only jesus has the power because he is above today you are being delivered you that has been suffering in masturbation you are delivered tonight you have been struggling a lesbian you have been lusting after fellow women you are delivered in the name of jesus if you have been lusting after fellow men you are delivered in the name of jesus the power of god is the least i release the power of god now may the lord have mercy upon you that you may find mercy before God. Praise the name of the Lord. Others, it captures a whole village. The whole village has been initiated. Have you ever entered a village from where from the boundaries of the village? Until where it ends. No one builds and puts her iron sheet on the roof. <laughs> You know that there is a principality on that village. You may enter the village with money. It will remove all your money until you resemble the people. But thanks be to God. This year there are weddings here. This year there are weddings. Ladies and gentlemen, let me declare. The weddings in Ayawa the streets. They will not be divorced. It shall be married. With no co-wife. Anything that married you is leaving you. Whoever is believing you for marriage. There will not be any divorce. Hallelujah. Jesus. You may take your seat. Now today That's when the spirit of God answers me In the first year of ministry We had conducted weddings Many people would have divorced <laughs> Let me explain If we conducted marriages In the second year of ministry Many marriages would have been torn. We are not yet discovered this enemy Pastors no longer have homes of marriage. Hey. Hello. Even pastors are divorced at home. They maintain the woman as their wife, but not as the wife of the home. Even prophets no longer have wives. Even pastors don't have homes. The evangelists no longer have marriages. They are struggling because of spiritual marriages. Oh, we thank the spirit of God. We thank the spirit of God. You young woman here, thank God. Young man, thank Jesus. People no longer have marriages. People are pretending. <laughs> they come in the same vehicle. But in the house it is wild war. There is no peace. Yet the woman has a visitor in the night. That her it does not fear anointed people. <laughs> After preaching a powerful song in the night it visits you and it has intercourse with you but thanks be to Jesus anyone that hears this message anyone that has been struggling the hand of God is delivering you they cannot speak this. Mrs. Pastor, you are a spiritual father. They always go to the spiritual father. Um, your, your husband has failed me. Daddy. Daddy. I've, I've done everything to the book. Ask your spiritual son, what did I do to him? The man you got married to has a co wife in the spiritual realm. And this terrorist is more powerful than you are. You are married into that family. The man is already married to the spirit wife. 
you are there Chikutawanya. you are struggling you fear to talk about it you don't have peace that is why men have lost farm count they are almost impotent it brings impotence in families women no longer have love for, for a desire for their husband in the people are so proud they are very tired everyone is tired where is my time Fool is it me that keeps your time? Do you do not have school fees. Idiot, leave me alone. Those are the times in breathing in marriages. It is what is in the marriages. But a woman that goes in the bedroom, you hear her laughing. When you're passing by, you hear the man laughing at his house and you ask what is going on. When you open the bed, he's alone. There is a co-wife in the house. There is a man that you do not know. But thanks be to God, though you know or you don't know, the hand of the Lord has come. The people that are delivered now, as I speak under this anointing, you are delivered right now. If your father brought it, it is leaving you now. Divorce it now. You find women at home in marriages. Men have beards with their manhood. But they are the women of the house. When the man is laughing, when he sees the wife, a fan has come. This thing has married them. Let me talk about this as I was. Now Jesus answers me that do you know this mystery concerning spirit husband and spirit wife? as the church. Somebody you are going to pray tonight and defeat it such that when we join you in holy matrimony, ah. hello, you will sit in your marriage. Oh. Hello. No divorce in your marriage. I hear your husband is now the house girl in the home. The house girl took the man of the home. Thank God. <laughs> Thanks be to God. That the marriages God had put them on a home. He was waiting for this message. Now that you understand the enemy. Thanks be to God. This year people are going to swallow every accusation against us. Whoever said that we are struggling the, whoever was saying we are struggling marriages look for another accusation this year marriages are being released ladies and gentlemen I thank the spirit of God I thank the entire heaven I thank God and the heaven and Jesus and God I thank God Almighty that the marriages in Ayam our daughters will be free our sons will be free there will not be married to spirits there will be married to their husband and they will show you in the name of Jesus, give all the mighty hand clap. In that church, there are no weddings. Hey, come on. Have you ever seen any wedding in that church? But let me ask you. You mean those that are married out there, are they happy? Now question. Are they happy? But they are just you pretending to be married. Oh, but but they mukufu, but they mukuzi, nyabu, but they mukubu zamu zamu. Not true. They are managing in marriage. Bagaze sa, bagaze sa. Hallelujah. Yeba zwa mukama. Hallelujah. Amen. At which point is that? Ngene kuamba mitunga msamf. Manga bidinga china na almost like a hundred. They are almost so like eighty manifestations. So I'm going to give you like, like seven of them. Then I take you to another section. Another point. Hallelujah. 
men only propose to you for sex not for marriage one man after using you there are women who are just good for being for bed and they are not good for marriage when they want a woman they will look not a wife but a woman you see you don't have qualities but yet Yet when you are a prostitute, you are his prostitute there. If they are men, they can never settle in one relationship. To show that I am very tough. To see. Even those that are out out wedlocks out of wedlock. Meaning you came with your husband out of wedlock. We are waiting for you now today. We want that husband to introduce you. We are going to start praying for you. We are going to remove any hindrance that we take off well. The sky will be the limit. Because God is behind us. Not even the sky shall limit us. Because because this is the time us. and the season has come for your life. If you hear me, so hear you. Can I hear? Hallelujah. See, the people who propose to you are unserious partners. Useless men without future. Hallelujah. Loss of job after marriage. Death of partner after wedding. After all death, after 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 uh, preparing the wedding dates of introduction. Can I have a better amen? Cutting off relationship without no good reason. Hallelujah. Are we in the house? These are all things happening. It is a sign of marriage. Can I have Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Back, serious back pain. During the menstruation period. Can I have Hallelujah. Wedding, dreaming when we are getting married. But no man is marrying you. Marrying, I mean, dreaming of a setting of a I am Ministers International. And you see me wedding you. But you don't see the man. Some people dream when they, they, they have a home around the lakes. Some of them dream they have engagement ring. Or some of them are wedded, they have wedding ring. Some of them have the wedding gown. Whenever they dream, they put it on the wedding gown. It is a suit of the wedding. And they are always there. Some dream when they have wedding certificates. But they are never married. Or when they are married. But in the dream. They are showing you that the wedding certificate is not the, the one of your wife. Kuwasa. That shows you are married spiritual. Others you carry mattress in dream with the saucepan and cups and you are moving aimlessly. Maybe you will be a vagabond. You will never settle in marriage. All those are signs of a spiritual marriage. Ma anger, the wrath without any reason and you become angry. Young women in church moving with men that are out of the will of God. They are so angry with the men in the will of God. The men are angry with the women that are in the will of God. And they project their, their qualities that they want. They project a woman who has their qualities in the church. 70% of the children of God. 80% of the children of God are gone with the wrong husband. Gone with the wrong wives. Because of manipulation of a spiritual husband. Marital prison. One man said, It is easy to break an engagement. But divorce will always cause you to be in People are in church. But the inside they are dying. 
your dream is dead because you're with the wrong person doors are closed you're with the wrong woman God sees you as a fornicator from today may your eyes see well hallelujah hallelujah point another point it causes women to smell in their private parts. Dress smartly. But when she stands up, everyone will ask which national water and sewage truck passed here. It is a stench. And she does not know it. It will project an evil smell. That even when the man is dating you, and when he smells it, he will not return. It is the same thing with the men. It will make you to smell in your private part. Some women they have enlarged genitalia. They have enlarged genitalia. When she goes for short call, it is summary. Summary. Why am I speaking all this? Others, you have painful press. Your nipples pain you. They hurt you. No, it is a sign of spiritual marriage. It has not yet manifested, but you are married to it. But thank Jesus. We thank the blood of Jesus. If Jesus did not come, I do not know where I would have been. Who would have delivered you from this predicament? You are free. Others dream. Others are married. Physically, they, have, they dream when they are in a bed, but they are sleeping alone. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Why is it that people are This it causes people to be shabby. They have money, but they don't have test. They are very shabby. They have all the money. But when, they, when you see them dressed up. The hairstyles are like they put the wig from the mochari. And when she walks, she's like a cat coming to steal money. The clothes and everything. She looks like undertaker in the church. The boy shoes that are out of fashion. The generation that are advanced. Go to the internet and surf it out. Because you're not. It is an invisible person. When they smile is when you know they are there. It projects you. On the day when they are going to date you, you put on a lousy hairstyle. Young girl. But putting on a weave of a 70 year old. Like a, still searching. But the weave is like UTC buses left them. They are old, ancient. Of fashion. They, they are handbags. It is God to have mercy upon us. When they are walking, now, when this young man saw you, the next time he recognizes you, he says, I saw you in the night. I did not see in the daytime. Those that marry in the night, when they get back to their senses, they'll know that it is a masquerade and not the rightful person. I pray for the grace of God. Hallelujah. Very briefly, I'm going to no, wonder. How many signs am I giving you? I am, I'm, I'm picking out the quick ones. Alleluia. Amen. Praise Amen. the name of the Lord. Amen. We're in the house. Alleluia. Alleluia. 
Some dream you having sex with animals. Or you have dreams when you're serving breakfast. With children, you're taking them to school. In, in the dream, you're driving an old car, yet physically you don't have one. All that, that is rejection to the in laws. You are older than your actual age. I'm picking the quick ones. Others it projects loneliness. Amen. Others there are migraine headaches in your period. Some even faint. Amen. Others even you lose your period. Yes, Three months, months no period in the beach. Others dream when there is a party on the beach. Others there are private parts. The man's manhood begins to diminish. That is the right word. Hallelujah. No Amen. compassion for your, for your spouse. Dreaming, eating in the dream. Hallelujah. Manifesting as a pregnant woman in the physical yet you're not pregnant. Hallelujah. Strategies as a spiritual husband. Yesterday I touched on the strategies. There are 85 strategies. How do you know you are in a spiritual marriage? Yesterday I touched the, spiritual, the strategies of a spiritual husband. Now I want to touch. What did I deal with? Today. Attacks in your dream. I shared that. If you don't know. If you don't know. Hallelujah. That is verse 15. When we're going on to verse 16, jump. We're looking at the, the strategy of a spiritual husband. And a spiritual wife. In the week I've been speaking, if you are not been around, get the CD. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Point number 16. We are looking at the strategy of a spiritual husband. Number one, it causes health problems. Hallelujah. I spoke the book about of Deuteronomy it. chapter 7. Write it down, verse 15. Exodus 15, 26. It causes one problems. Write it down. Point number 17. It causes what we call evil, evil, it, evil, evil in laws. They hate you without reason. It projects evil in laws in your marriage. They don't want to know. They don't want to know. I am innocent, but they hate me. Matthew 12 46 50. Hallelujah. Now, these in-laws, they are programmed to fail your marriage by the spiritual husband and spiritual wife. They also practice witchcraft against your marriage because they are projected by spiritual husbands. They are choose you falsely before your husband. Before your wife. Hallelujah. They cause division and separation between husband and wife. Hallelujah. They always mock and despise you in your marriage. And some of them even don't know that they are treating you badly. But because that thing is in your life, it programs them to treat you that way. Hallelujah. They curse your marriage because they are programmed as spiritual husbands. Can I hear better, amen? 18. Evil pattern. Hallelujah. For example, broken marriages. Rape. Madness. Death prematurely. It happens. Psalms 11 verse 3, what does the Bible say? The Bible says that if what? If the foundations are destroyed, what can righteous man do? Pray. 
The only way you can restore all these damages it is through praying and fasting and dismantling all these things. Hallelujah. 19. Jezebel's spirit. Hallelujah. Women behave like men in their homes. They order men like their boy boy. Revelation 2 Verse 20, I'm trying to beat the bush. There's a main point I want to handle. Point number 20. Spirit of poverty. There are people who are working. Married men are working. Married women are working. But poverty is their portion. It cannot leave their house because it is projected by a spiritual husband. Can I have a better time? Now they have inability of taking care of their spouses. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 15. What does the Bible say? Proverbs 10, 15. Yes, sir. Proverbs 10, 15 says. Yes, sir. The wealth of the rich uh -huh. is their fortified city. Uh -huh. But the poverty is the ruin of the poor. Proverbs 10 15. God has never called us to be paupers. Poverty is not our portion. Can I make myself clear? You have never called to be poor. And poverty has never been your portion. We are called to be prosperous. So Proverbs says what? That what? Ah. The wealth of the rich ah. is their fortified city. But the poverty of, mm. of the poor is their ruin. That is why you find married women have left their men. They are going out to look for men with money. Men are leaving their wives. They are now looking for women with money. Why? Because their homes are under attack. Of a spiritual husband. Mama, I take care of this man. I even bathed my husband. But this man despises me. I have introduced your enemy. Go back and deal with spirit wife. Deal with spirit husband. That you shall retain your marriage. Give the Lord a mighty hand clap. Eh, point number 21. Having extra marital affairs in church. In marriage. You are married. But there is one that looks better than your wife. What it does. It projects your wife. With a face. It projects her with the things you don't want to do. Then it will project another one with favor. That is how co-wives have come and have sat waiting. Now they have entered deep. Praise the Lord. Matthew chapter 15 verse 19 to 20. What does the Bible say? Matthew 15. Mm. Now the heathen that do not know Jesus they will go to the bars. In the bar is their second home. They are so addicted to alcohol. Therefore them it is like they are the brewer itself and then they will return. In heaven there is no beer. It is Jesus that, 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 that made the, wedding, the wine in Canaan that we shall be here. He comes back very drunk. But it is through alcohol. So when they come back and three years, that is how they are behaving. If you are not a patient woman, you will look outside for a man to make you happy. To, to a, the enemy of the marital destinies. Matthew 15, 19 to 20. How do people get married to a spiritual husband and spiritual wife? Give me the scripture. Uh, Matthew 15, 19 to 20. For out of the heart come evil thoughts, 
murder, mm. adultery, mm. sexual immorality, theft, false testimony. These are what make a man unclean. Ah. But eating with one unwashed hands does not make him unclean. Mm. You are polluted before They are always going to block blessings in your home. That is the end of the day in the church. People are used to eat mukanisa. But we thank God. But whosoever came here, I may not pray for you today. But because you came in this place, an anointing here shall not leave you the same. You are a candidate of deliverance. In the name of Jesus Christ. If you hear me, sir, hear you. Now, how do people get married to spiritual husbands and spiritual wives? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Point number one. People get married through family altars. Judges 6.25 Hallelujah. Some people, their parents went to the shrines to conceive them. And when they got them, and then they, God said, when you get pregnant, you make sure you return the baby back. Hallelujah. Some people get married to spiritual husbands. Through funeral rites. The rites of the twins. Right? People get married through that. Hallelujah. Anytime parents of the children went to the shrines to seek for protection, prosperity, as well as revenge, they are only open doors for spiritual marriage. For you are saying, I've never fornicated. Why is it that I'm having it was a family altar. Point number two. Through demonic names. Hallelujah. People have names of culture. Culture names. But in our manya gechika. The culture, the tribal names. And this family has a name of a demon. And that child has a name of a demon. But they'll be initiating you. Can I hear better? Amen. Amen. Genesis 17, 13 to 5. Genesis 17, 13 to 15. Nyangu yoro, katia kuita mbuangu. Pastor Justin Agamangazi, kamuja. Hallelujah. Amen. Those demonic names are also gateway to us, to spiritual husbands and spiritual wives, Ena, to possess children and grandchildren. Ena, read from me Genesis 17, 13 to 15. Okay, point number three. Hallelujah. Fornication. In the home. Mumaka. Married people sleeping around. First Corinthians chapter 16. First Corinthians chapter 6, verse 5. Hallelujah. Anytime you commit adultery or fornicate, you are opening a door in your marriage. The spiritual husband and spiritual wife. Hallelujah. Sex is not an act. That you have to do it with any woman you find on the way. That act of the sex, it is, an, it is a sacrifice that we lift before God when both of them are alive. That is why the Bible says the a marental bed should be respected and kept pure and, and holy. holy. So this is an act. When people lift it before God, they are not dead, they are alive. They are raising an altar to God. So anytime you fornicate, you are raising an evil altar to God. Of fornication. And that way it is easy for the enemy to strike your marriage. Married men and married women, are we there? The Bible says that our bodies are the temples of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, we have to keep our bodies clean. Preserve them for our husbands alone and wives alone. Are we in the house? Written Colossians. Chapter, verse Corinthians chapter 6 verse 15. Write down the same scripture 16 verse 19. Pick me those scriptures man of God. 
16, 5, 15, and then 6, uh, 6 5. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 15. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 mm. and verse 15 says. Yes. 1 Corinthians 6, 15, the Bible says. 15. Do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ himself? Uh, Shall I then take the members of Christ and unite them with a prostitute? Never. Do you not know that he who unites himself with a prostitute is one with her in the body? And remember, a prostitute does not sleep with one man. A long sleeping around they sleep with the satanists. They sleep with spiritual husband and every prostitute is married to a spiritual wife. To a spiritual husband. So the Bible says that if you join with them, you become one. Covenanted. Tell your neighbor. Watch your back. Go to 19. 1 Corinthians 6, 19. Says 19. what? 19 says, Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit Again. who is in you, uh -huh. whom you have received from God. Mm -hmm. You are not your own. You were brought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your body. Those are Romans chapter 12 verse 1. Quickly, my pastor. Romans 12 and 1. Huh. one. I am picking. Therefore, I urge you, brothers, mm. In view of God's mercy, mm. to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God, this is your spiritual act of worship. Aha. Do you know, as you keep your body clean and pure to God, you are living a sacrifice of worship to God. Point number four. People get married through cultural dances. When people dance cultural dances, they are pleased the gods. Some of them dance naked. Some of them do enchantments. So by doing all those things, they are inviting the spiritual husband and spiritual wives. So that way they are married. Exodus 32 verse 5 to 6, write down. Point number five. It is through soul ties. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Genesis 34 verse 1 to 3. Some people are initiated through giftings, sexual acts, through kissing, through blood covenants, through photos, they give pictures, panties, necklaces, finances, by that they are covenanting their souls to a spiritual husband because of time. Hallelujah. Seductive dressing. That seductive dressing. People come to church. But they leave nothing to imagination. She has come also to pray. <laughs> I told you I love fitting. Men who put on fitting. But there are people who put on fitting and every place is fitting. Some things you put them on you do not know. And when, when you, you will notice, whenever you dress seductively, even wheelbarrow pushers will talk to you that day. Even border border men will applaud you. That means you look like prostitute. Seductive dressing. In this pulpit as the choir, the uniform of the choir is long dresses. There is no beeping power on the pulpit. That their breasts are exposed. That their dresses don't have lining. 
People are in church. Sitting to next to the brother, the brother is worshiping. But they are touring spiritually. Now you, you are a candidate. Oh, you are a candidate. You are chapter 31, verse 1. You are a candidate. You are a candidate. You are a candidate. You are a candidate. There is too much indecent dressing. Married women, but without petticoat in their dress. Transparent. Transparent. And they stand like undertaker, like prison warden. Praise and worship. Breast lifting. That the brother can have optical nutrition for spiritual enlightenment. All that. It. And Job say I'm not this seductive dressing. Opens up doors for lust on men and women. Before you know it, people lust. Stain themselves in the church. Somebody is there lusting in the church. But their next neighbor. Praise the Lord. I'm about to wind up. Convenance. Hallelujah. Sexual convenance with men and women. Especially who broke your virginity in fornication. Some men convenance you on demonic altars. Of the spiritual husband husband and spiritual wife. First Corinthians. Chapter 6. Verse 16. Write it down. Point number 9. Masturbation. Masturbation. There are some health experts that say that masturbation is a spiritual game. Genesis 38 verse 9 verse 8 to 10. Hallelujah. Read for me that one quickly. Genesis 38 uh. verse 9. Genesis 38 verse 9 says uh. 9. Yeah. <coughs> Eight. Eight. Then Judah said to Onan, Lie with your brother's wife and fulfill your duty to her mm. as a brother in law mm. to produce offspring for your brother. Mm. But Onan knew that the offspring would not be his. So, whenever he lay with his brother's wife, so when, whenever he lay with his brother's wife, eh. he spilled his semen on the ground eh. to keep from producing offspring for his brother. Uh -huh. What he did was wicked in the Lord's sight, so he put him to death also. Amen. Praise the Lord. So God kills anyone who practices masturbation. And put to death businesses, favor, connections. And friendship. This is what happens. Point another point. Inheritance from parents who were satanic priests. That was also initiation. Praise the Lord. I've given you a few. Now, how do we destroy? This spiritual husband. Praise the Lord. Point number one. Through total repentance. Second Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14. Hallelujah. Repent of any involvement in sexual act. Repent of fornication. Of sexuality. Defilement. Rape and Repent. Even for your great ancestors. And God shall forgive you. Point number two. Cancel all evil convenance. Between you and spiritual wives and husbands. Zachariah chapter 9. Verse 11. By the reason of the blood of Jesus. All the prisoners are picked from the endless pit. Isaiah 28.
18. Can I have better men? Gamba, I mean. Cancel any word you spoke when you were having sex. Or kissing with your boyfriend. Or when you were in love. Those are all convenances. You broke an engagement when you are still in high school. But up to today, that girl has never left your mind. You are married, but they never leave your mind. What you spoke to them? Go back and cancel them. Cancel any vows. Cancel any vows your ancestors made you speak to your spiritual husband and your spiritual wife. Cancel any engagement. Cancel any agreements. Cancel any agreements. Your ancestors, your parents made with shrines, which is are sent to altars. Point number two. Dis disconnect yourself. Praise the Lord. Yeah, from your family altar. Disconnect your uterus. Where your sperms were dedicated. Disconnect. Where your sperms were dedicated. Disconnect. Where your woman who was disconnected. Disconnect. Where your woman who was disconnected. Disconnect. Where your hands, your lips, your feet. Disconnect. From spiritual husbands. Point number four. Destroy all the evidences. Deuteronomy chapter 9 verse 3 Destroy every spiritual rings Wedding gowns in the realm of a spirit Wedding suits Wedding certificates certificates Evil family Evil marriage family records Evil priests in your dreams Evil witnesses in your dreams Houses, bends, clothes In your dreams Cars in your dreams And names in your dreams Another point And this point is to all the evidence some of you have tattoos. Disconnect. Every covenant on that tattoo. Blood covenant disconnect. Evil altars disconnect. Point number five. Divorce yourself from every evil spiritual marriage. Declare divorce to a spiritual husband and a spiritual wife. Can I have a better image? Point number six. Ask and pray for restoration of your en for, for any damage in your life. Speak restoration in your marriage. Restoration in your destiny. Restoration in your uterus. Restoration in your relationships. Hallelujah. Pick that scripture from the book of Joel chapter 2. Verse 25 to 26. The Lord has stored the years, the locusts and cowboys as he did. Point number seven. Thank God for restoration. Praise the Lord. Point number eight. Keep a life of purity. Hallelujah. And fellowshipping. And keep fellowshipping in the presence of God.